and the Spanish branch is really what I'm most familiar with. Um, it was actually half English, half Spanish. And so I think they might have switched it now, but when we were there, we had translators um, and we had combined everything. Uh, and so for sacrament meeting, the missionaries would sit in the Relief Society room with it broadcasted over the intercom. And so we'd listen to it and then we'd provide, provide live translation. And so all the members would have headsets. And so if someone was, in, someone was speaking in English, the Spanish people would put their headsets on. And then if someone was speaking in Spanish, they'd take them off. And then the English people would put their headsets on. But sometimes we didn't have enough, so they'd have to like switch. And, and the best was when they would ask for people to um, like a sustaining vote in church um, because the translation was delayed. When they'd say like all, all in favor and then like half the church would raise their hands and then he would say like all opposed but then the translation would come through all in favor and so half the branch would be like that. And so, it was just really funny. Um, and then there were just some funny like sometimes when people would like give testimonies um, they'd be talking about really weird things and we'd have investigators there who we didn't want them to hear their testimonies. And so we would just like teach the plan of salvation <laughs> over the translation system. <laughs> I don't know if that's right or wrong, but <laughs> we felt good about it in the moment. So, so it was just a, the Spanish branch is really unique. And I think, I think it's separated now. Um, but the love between the Spanish people and the uh, English speaking people, whether uh, mostly African American, but also white, um, is, is, is just amazing. Um, there's really no, no distinction, um, in the church there in terms of race. So.